r slash ask women c Sida dream says those who don't have children how does it make you feel when people ask you if you have children or when you plan on having them rubella says it's a boring question when 242 says my response to this extremely rude and ultra personal question is to ask them how well they clean their anus it's not anyone's business but mine. Hataya Gert Klesset 69 says. I hate it. I don't ever plan to have them and I normally, for the sake of being polite, just reply that I'm perfectly happy and love being an auntie. Tanakalidis says. I didn't mind a simple ask, but when people can't understand the choice or tried to convince me, that bugs me. However I recently realized my mom stopped doing this, and it dawned on me, that I'm over 40 and no one asks anymore. No longer something I have to put up with. Okshalat3873 says. Stressed, we still don't know the answer, and feel the time crunch, and when people ask it compounds the pressure. It also depends on phrasing, do you have kids? Someone just trying to get to know you when, are you having kids? Asshole are you having kids? From friends, love it, opens dialogue to discuss concerns as others are in our situation. Mwomo says. Well, do you have children is a fair question. The answer is no, and that tends to lead into why, which annoys me, because it's none of their business but nobody seems to want to let it go. Baranasup says. I just keep saying, not yet and then change the subject. I don't want or need to explain why I don't want kids, I just don't. Honestocto says. 37 I don't have any, so I've had a lot of fun with this, if they get personal so do I, if ask why. I ask why they do. I match their questioning until it gets awkward. 100% love it. Traditional water 6255 says. I don't mind either question. But I get annoyed when we get into the why not territory and the general questioning of my choice. Especially if the person makes it obvious that they think my decision to not have kids is weird slash abnormal slash selfish. Or if they make those you'll change your mind someday remarks. I immediately dislike them. It's something people can't redeem themselves from for me. After all, I don't go around asking people why they have kids, or plan to have them, and then tell them it's a stupid and selfish idea, do I? LPP132 says. The worst is, when people say they are trying to get pregnant. I mean it's not the worst, just awkward. No, I don't wanna know that you guys are doing it raw and cream piss and all of that. Yajerlis says. I think it's a super invasive question to ask, and I make it known to whoever is asking me about it that it is. Pingusasnoot says. My husband and I have been trying to conceive, and it's been over 5 years since I used the pill, so I kind of know it's not going to happen. I'm okay with that, but my husband not so much. It doesn't bother me when people ask. I feel more awkward for my husband than myself. But when people start telling me I should get a move on, time is ticking etc. Then I get annoyed. It's always people who have kids that do it as well. Countermelody12 says. Disappointed because I'm getting to be the age where I'd be considered geriatric, and I don't want kids with just anyone. Confident Chemist 982 says. Beeswax, not yours incorporated. This question annoys this bus out of me, so I respond in a way that silences nosy people swiftly. I had my tubes taken out, so I won't be having any. R slash ask women. Rackle says. How do you deal with being desired sexually and not romantically? EGK001 says. I think relationships can be a lot more nuanced than committed vs uncommitted. I never thought I'd be the one who would enjoy FWBS, but it's the quality of the friend part that is the most important to me. It obviously depends on matching circumstance and emotional maturity for it to work, 
but romance can exist in friendship. Really lets you enjoy the moment with someone, and just have hedonistic fun with each other's bodies. I've always felt disheartened where I felt like a genuine friendship was established, I love and care for all of my friends deeply, but sometimes they don't even meet those basic standards of authenticity or they don't think it's important at all. Friendship is the most basic form of commitment you can have with someone. Even if sex went off the table, at least they'd know they had a lifelong friend in me. That is the part that hurts, if it's not valued or reciprocated. Jill Chronicles says. Nowadays though this is totally true. You can't be sure enough, if someone is really, in love with you that's, why they have sex with you, or even keep you. This is the most bothersome to people, who are desperate of attention. Cause they'll take anything, that is offered to them as romance. Tampa Darlin says. So, they want to bone you, but not date you? Yeah, sorry, but that can be fixed with a few hard passes, when they start texting wide. Motherhelp5303 says. I think it's both, when they desire you. Morgan Ripley 669 says. I can't deal with that. I need balance. The more romantic my partner is the more sexual I want to be with them. I don't want one without the other. Naughty underscore by underscore nature says. Sometimes it's great, but the majority of times it sucks. How do I deal with it? I just try not to think about it. Plump for Thatis says. It's fine being desired sexually but usually it's short term. Ok Koala 1797 says. Loki it sucks, but whatever it is what it is. Nervous Toe 6779 says. Um it's usually off putting. Work Mubbubby one more time says. Look at the bright side, at least you're attractive. Lots of ugly girls would love to have your problem. I get that it sucks, not saying it doesn't. Gratitude is a great way to put a happy spin on things. Also, maybe a plevel where you meet men. If you go to a bar, it's going to be a bunch of horny men, most dumb and you're right back where you don't want to be. Iva Meriger says. Depends on the situation. I'm a model and travel a lot. My job is being an object. So I currently just don't like to be in a real relationship. It's kind of a coping mechanism, because you can't prevent it entirely. Red and Reddit 24 says. Be flattered, but tell them thanks but no thanks, because I'm demisexual. Sacrificial B Truth says. I dunno, sucks, but better than nothing I suppose. Is what it is. Cherry underscore a bell underscore says. I would be flattered, if it's someone I know, even if I don't share the feeling, it's basically saying that I'm attractive, but if it's someone, that made me think I was being desired romantically, and turns out it was all sexual desire, then I leave. Joe Imami 2015 says. I gave up on dating, fuck it lol. Kakashisith says. It backslash back quote s annoying. I backslash back quote am not a sextal, but a person. My reaction is cold as ice. I have given up. 10. Fornanana says. It depends on whether or not I have feelings for him. If it's mutually just 6, no biggie, if I thought it was more but was mistaken, then nope. Xee says. I don't. Alternative underscore C underscore 2036 says. I leave, unless I'm also desiring the person sexually, but in this case I just do it on the first night and just leave, I don't project myself with people to whom I know they intention so does, if the intention is unclear. Status War 4902 says. I used to deal, but now I've given up. And I'm a little older, 38, so I really don't see a point in even trying to date anymore. r slash ask women reserve underscore nervous says women who were unsure about having children but had them anyway how do you think about your decision now 
Lovishness at 20 to 26 says. I love her so much that I feel bad she has me for a mom. Outrageous Wish 8659 says. Everything I ever gave up to have my daughter was worth it, and I would do it again. Karmic Scorpion says. I love my son with all my heart and more. I wouldn't change the fact that I gave birth to him. He's a main part of my life and I can't picture it without him. That being said I'm not having any more. One is plenty for me. Toddlers are insanely stressful and the teen years are gonna be probably worse, or maybe not, who knows. I'm also a young mom so maybe that's a big factor in me not wanting any more kids. Squid Bear says. I adore them, have absolutely no regrets either. I was very much in the chilled free boat then once I hit 31 it was like what now? I was educated, in a well paying job, had just purchased my first house with my partner, had 3 cats, had traveled, had all the latest tech etc. My own childhood was alright apart from my mother who was, and still is an awful human being. I was though worried about my own physical and mental health as thanks to my mother I have to take medication for depression and PTSD plus I have joint issues. However, I had a great and very supportive perinatal and medical team and both of my kids are healthy, happy and absolutely loved by their dad and I. They don't want for anything, we don't belittle or shame them, like my mother would. Also, I'm sorting out savings for them as I want them to be able to afford their own homes, and enter post-university life debt free. I only wish I could have more kids, but to do so would deprive my two financially as I couldn't keep up the same quality of life for more than two children. Nirupa says. I'm loving it absolutely. The decision of continuing my pregnancy, and being a medium. To bring a life to this planet, despite of absence of my partner, would be action I would never ever regret. Poon underscore Yee 123 says. Reading the replies give me hope. I don't like kids and I absolutely dread having children. I often feel like I wouldn't be able to love my children and will only think of them as a burden. The thought of getting married, having kids, changing my entire life, or having something that I will have a lifelong commitment to scares the shit out of me. Jade4813 says. I have no regrets. I'm incredibly glad I did it. However, I'm also very aware that it could have gone the other way. For that reason, I would never tell someone you'll be glad you did it if they aren't sure that having kids is something they want. It was the right decision for me and I'm so, so glad I did it. But that doesn't mean it would be the right decision for everyone. 06Gleati06 says. Best thing I ever did. They are the loves of my life. Mocha Mango says. I never wanted kids and I never really liked them all that much. I ended up having twins, and although it was difficult, still is, I don't regret it. And I just had my third baby four days ago. Chilibulama says. If it wasn't for my partner pushing and pushing to have our first, I may have never had kids. I had three in my mid-twenties and now my fourth at 34. It's a totally different experience at this age, and I wish I had waited to have kids until 30 plus, and had time to enjoy my twenties and be selfish. At any age, it's very difficult and a sacrifice in many ways. With that said, I love my kids and they are my greatest blessing and source of so much pride. Mad Madame MC says. Best thing I ever did. I did not want a boy and our son was first. He is 35 and worth every tear and dollar he cost me. No regrets. That's all for this video thank you for watching please subscribe.